expect people to tap an exam is to answer the easiest questions first. And this is exa exactly what you should do. Start with the most approachable questions because you want to get correct answers to those questions you know so that no matter what happens, those ones, you should, let, you should never get them wrong. So I've talked about three strategies. Number one, review the paper before you start answering. Number two, build a damn budget. Number three, begin from easy to the hard. Number four is what you call verification. You just check out the answers and, uh, uh, you know, verify if it's accurate or not. So instead of you just begin writing and see what happens, it doesn't work like that. When you're writing, begin to outline how that process or that procedure will be before you write. Draw like a skeleton. Don't just begin writing. For questions that will ask you about a process, an essay, you have to draw a skeleton and then follow that skeleton. When you do that, you help your brain to organize the information in a way so that it can help you retrieve it. If you get that, if you have enough time, Go through the paper, check the work that you have done. You are going to find that maybe you made a mistake and some of those things uh, can be corrected. Lastly, and in closing, I will uh, tell you that always prepare. Always prepare. That's the best strategy ever. To, to do your best is more important than to come out the best. Because doing your best gives you the confidence to write the paper very well. If you don't do your best, you are going to experience the worst kind of a hell that you, have, you can ever imagine. So always do your best. Never disappoint your capacity. Yeah, thank you.
that you need to know why you are not in this particular country. Because that is where your country is really impossible. So before we leave this country, we need to answer a question ourselves. Why am I doing this particular Once you have the answer to that question, then you know that you need to be before that you are going to get clear to the account. It is one of the biggest mistakes you ever take. Then you want to hear uh, running up and down in the day of the exam is very important. Always be on time. And this is rare. And now again, avoid last minute discussion. And you come in and in school, you find people are discussing the question of the It's very common amongst them. You're going to feel as if you don't exactly. know when you keep studying. And that is going to give you a surprise. Once you have that and the first, you are going to do the exam of So you have to always pray before you go into the exam Ask God for guidance, wisdom, and everything. In the exam room, remind you one thing. I don't want to be able to do it. Don't look at what you do. Just mind your paper and what you do. You cannot follow the court alone. We have Make as many friends as possible. You never forget that your success depends on who depends on others. Never wait alone. Always wait to each other. There is one thing that will make you forget things that you started. One stress uh, and anxiety. When you go into an exam room, I'm sure you've seen certain questions that you say, okay, let me let me skip one because one is what? It's hard. You go to two, then two says, according to your answer in one. <laughs> what is the answer in any? You don't know since you haven't solved what? You haven't solved one. By the time you're checking to three, they say according to your answer to question one. Question two, and now if there's something very important. In an exam, like Mr. Matthew said, it is confidence. When I was in school, what I used to do is that when you're going to write an exam, I would always be dressed much because it increases what? Your confidence. Confidence is the must, especially like if you are going to do what? Write your exam. There is what you call the A, B, C, D, E module that can help us fight. For you to be at this point, it means that you're intelligent. Yeah, because if you had. Uh, Mild mental retardation wouldn't be here. We don't go as far as just five. We so we're all what? We're all different. A lot of us are going to get the same math, so we're what? We're different. Then you should engage in active problem solving. Solve the problem and not only giving you problems, you do what? You start more. Your life does not depend on exam. Ever since I wrote my exam some years ago, I've failed up to six jobs and none of them have depended on have depended on my April results. They're all dependent on three things. One, learning, your ability to learn. Two, the value that you bring to an organization. Four, or three, the relationships that you build what, uh, around you. Those are the things uh, that are going to, work, to affect you, not the exam. I'm not saying that you should work, you should stop. But your life does not depend on the, on the exams that you write three weeks from now. I wish you the best in the exams. And, uh, I hope that we meet in the water.